Hi, we are so excited to have Thomas on here with us. Hi, Thomas, all the way from Victoria, BC. So my Ooh. hometown, yeah. <laughs> How are you doing today, Thomas? I'm doing awesome. So uh, it's very unfortunate and I feel really helpless about a lot of the people suffering through COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but as for uh, Mad Ventures and myself, uh, we've always been a virtual and online platform for the past yeah. 18 years. So uh, it's business as usual. In fact, uh, we have been accelerating um, our investments. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been great. Okay, wonderful. Yes, and for, for those of you who are um, new to, under, to, to knowing Mad Ventures, um, they are the fastest growing um, angel group in Canada so far, especially, um, yeah, especially in the last 24 months, and you guys are growing so fast, so crazy, um, with lots of different partners all across North America right now, and it's wonderful that it takes place right in my hometown in Victoria, BC. So congratulations on that extreme growth rate, Thomas. So uh, to give you a little bit of a background, Mad Ventures is actually the oldest operating venture capital firm for Victoria. Uh, we've been around 18 years. Um, we now have uh, around 100 portfolio companies that we've funded. Uh, and we have currently 15 investment partners in the firm. Uh, and our vision is really to uh, um, save humanity from ourselves through the use of technology. And we have vowed to uh, really focus on investing in uh, positive social impact opportunities mm -hmm. that will push you know, um, and improve human lives. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you know, your focus is very unique and very niche. So we would love to hear a little bit more about that as well. Um, but first, I must ask you about your infamous um, collaboration, where Mad Ventures has this like, you know, super, super investment with uh, Mr. Reed Hoffman. So a little bit of a background. Uh, how Mad Ventures works is, um, you can think of Mad Ventures as uh, a enabler. So I'll, I'll rewind a bit. Mm -hmm. Mad Ventures had been, has been investing and funding hungry entrepreneurs for the past 18 years. Um, but on top of that, recently, we have started to fund hungry investors. So anyone who's hungry, who's smart, who's really motivated in changing the world and wanting to learn the black art of angel investing and venture capital, um, we have a lot of resources. We have capital, we have uh, a lot of experience, uh, knowledge, expertise, connections, uh, and infrastructure. So we provide all those resources for those individuals and um, uh, uh, we enable them to get into the world of angel investing and venture capital. So uh, we have 15 uh, investment partners right now but uh, the, deal with, uh, the, the deal that we did with uh, Reed Hoffman was uh, a company called Blockstream. So Blockstream uh, was a company that was in Montreal and we did the seed investing, uh, a very small amount, but uh, we were able to get on that deal through our first investment partner. Um, and uh, that company really, uh, that was a fairly large round. The seed round was $21 million US. Ooh. So after our investment, um, the company, and, and that was led by Reed personally, um, he put in $5 million of his own personal money into that, uh, um, uh, into that uh, seed round. Uh, after uh, Blockstream got uh, its first seed round, they relocated from Montreal to San Francisco. Um, later on, they did a Series A where uh, a gentleman by the name Li Kai Sheng of Hong Kong uh, led the round, Series A, um, and that was a uh, $55 million round. Um, the company, uh, Blockstream, what they do is uh, one, a lot of things, but one of the things that they do is they're shooting rockets into space in creating the world's first uh, blockchain satellite network. So this is a satellite, satellite network that is accessible from anywhere on this planet uh, and without interruption from any company, individual, or government. So it's a very empowering uh, infrastructure and technology. And we really believed in, in, in that vision of 
trend, you know, uh, disrupting the future uh, and the financial system with this enabling uh, brand new blockchain technology. So that, that is how we got into that investment. And congratulations on the next round um, being, you know, so prominent and so strong as well. It is really, really impressive. Well, thank you um, very much. I, yes. And I know that, um, as you mentioned, um, that hunger is a huge focus value for you. So please tell us, what does hunger mean to Thomas? So a little bit of a background is I have been in the world of venture capital for 23 years. So I cut my teeth in the industry in back in 1997. So I've, I've seen the first dot-com uh, bubble burst uh, and uh, lots of ups and downs. Now, what was really interesting was I've actually seen many cases of startup companies fail. Not, you know, of course, when they run out of money, they fail. But I've also seen companies fail because they were overfunded. So having too much money, good problem to have, you might think. But it was the cause of their failure. And um, how I define it is the entrepreneur needs to be hungry and needs to um, really be resourceful. So if you think of uh, a startup company as a ship in, in rough, uh, stormy waters, the CEO, um, the entrepreneur is the captain. And when there's obstacles coming in, you need to navigate your ship around those obstacles. And if you're overfunded, you go like, oh, build a very big ship. We're going to go through that iceberg and then look what happened to Titanic, right? So entrepreneurs need to be resourceful. They need to be hungry. They need to constantly learn and really figure out how best to get to their goals and their objectives um, with uh, limited resources. And that's the critical piece um, that we want to look at at Mad Ventures. It's definitely so interesting that you point out, of course, you know, these, these things that maybe first time um, fundraisers don't know how being overfunded, it could be a huge, huge killer for you. So great that you brought that up and, you know, great hardcore, hard examples for us to have as well. So thank you so much, Thomas. Um, now we're going to play a little game to get to know Thomas a little bit more. So it's going to be fun. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to play the game called Hey Robot. So here you see my Google Home. And um, what we're going to do is it's going to be kind of like the game Taboo, where we say words and, um, well, actually, we say descriptions. And then we're trying to get the Google Robot to say the word in any way. So I have picked Victoria-themed words for us to play with um, as a tribute to our hometown. So hold on. All right. So the first word is salmon. So think of what you would make Google say or ask Google a question without using that word, but get him to say it. Would you like to go first, Thomas? You bet. Hey, Google, what fish should I have for breakfast? Here's a summary from the website CheatSheet.com. Fatty fish. Fish like salmon and mackerel are among the best protein choices you can make thanks to potent levels of omega-3 fatty acids. Hey, Google, which stop. <laughs> How did you know that breakfast was going to be the thing that he was going to say? Well, I mean, I, when I think of fish for breakfast, there's the salmon. Um, uh, oh, the cream cheese bagel one, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Ah, very good, very good. <laughs> so, yeah, so, um, you know, uh, being in Victoria, we have the op opportunity to have beautiful, fresh Pacific Coast salmon, and it's wonderful. I miss it every time I'm away, and uh, we have a huge variety as well, so, you know, spoiled with salmon over there. The next word is going to be a little bit tricky. So one of our biggest, most famous landmarks is, of course, the Empress Hotel. So Empress is the next key word. So Thomas, you are a reigning champion. Would you like to go first? Sure. Hey Google, where is the oldest hotel in Victoria? The address for Abigail's Hotel is 906 McClure Street, Victoria. Hey Google, BCE. stop. 
Okay, I missed that one. Hey, Google, what are other words to say queen? Here are some synonyms for queen, monarch, sovereign, head of state, ruler, crown. Damn it. Really thought they was going to say it. Okay, what do you think? What, what would your next guess be, Thomas? Hey, Google, who would be the marriage partner for a emperor? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Okay. Try again, maybe just rephrase uh, the, the same thing. Hey, Google, who would be the wife of an emperor? Empress. On the website study.com. Hey, Google, they stop. Said <laughs> Very good. You are, yeah, you are very good at this. Okay, so we'll try one more, and the word is Victoria. Okay, so you can go first, Thomas. No, I, I'll let you go. Okay. Hey, Google, what is the capital city of British Columbia? Victoria is the capital of British Columbia. Hey, Google, stop. I would be very upset if there was another British Columbia, like somewhere in a different country, and I just didn't know it this whole time. Good job, good job. Excellent, so that was, the, that was how we play Hey Robot. Thank you so much, Thomas, for participating. And Thomas, one last thing before we let you go, because I know you're very, very busy. Please tell us one great project that you are very excited about. So, um, we really, uh, at Mad Ventures, we really want to save humanity and make uh, human lives better. So our latest in investment that we made, probably last week, oh. uh, yeah, I think it was last week, uh, is a, a local Vancouver Island company called Zay Zoom. that's Z-A-Y-Z-O-O-N, and what they do is they have a mission to kill and destroy uh, payday loans and predatory lending companies. And all over North America? That's correct. Wow, because it, it, it is a huge problem. It, I, I just saw um, this heartbreaking documentary about it. And, um, and yeah, that is, that is amazing. So can you tell us a little bit more about where um, people can find information about uh, the startup company or um, where we can follow them? Uh, the startup company is called ZayZoon. That's Z-A-Y-Z-O-O-N. Um, as far as uh, the details, how Mad Ventures makes this investment is it's through our investment partnerships. So, uh, if anyone's in interested, I can introduce you to our investment partner who's handled that uh, specific deal. Perfect. Wonderful. So, you guys, um, we are going to have to let Thomas go, but thank you so much for joining our show. We hope, uh, we hope you guys have a great rest of your day.